This video is filmed before the COVID outbreak and the shelter in place guidance was put into effect. Cottonelle brand is working around the clock to get products back on shelf ASAP. As possible. Thanks for watching and thanks to Cottonelle for sponsoring this video. Let's go see that toilet. We've got a little science experiment that we're gonna do today. Welcome back to Wilson's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan, and today we are on the hunt for the world's largest toilet. World's largest toilet exists, and apparently it's in this town of 45,000 people in Columbus, Indiana. So we flew here last night. We took an hour ride here to this town, and we're gonna find it. We're gonna find the toilet. Today's video is sponsored by Cottonelle. They make flushable wipes, and they challenged us to test those wipes versus regular wipes. We're gonna find this toilet. Let's do it. This place already, I love this little town. Welcome to Kids Commons. This is a children's museum in Columbus. And this is the place where the world's largest toilet supposedly is. And so I wanna see this thing because it's apparently big enough that a human can be flushed down it. That sounds incredible. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a hedgehog is in here. There he is, little Wilson. You wanna to try to hold him? Sure, yeah. He, right. He's usually pretty relaxed. Just make sure he doesn't, you know, fall out of your hands and you're yeah. good. Yep. Hi, buddy. This is hey, Lincoln's first that. time ever holding it's a not, hedgehog. It's not that yeah. spiky, no, yeah. no. He's not too bad. Bye, buddy. <laughs> He's like, me turn me. That's <laughs> awesome. Man. This is it, right here. Watch your friends go down the toilet. There it is. Why does this children's museum have the world's largest toilet? Well, it's actually a really cool idea. One of the ways for people to learn how things work is to see the inside of them. We know that better than most people in the world. So the children's museum decided, let's create an area that shows people how a house works. They have exposed two by fours to show you that. They show you how the electricity works. You can even see like the insulation in the walls and how that works. And so to show people how plumbing works and how a toilet works, look at this thing they oh made my God. a giant toilet this welcome to the world's largest toilet <laughs> this is so big it's so big oh my gosh this is the this world's is largest massive. toilet and inside the clutches i think it has a sensor listen to it's that it's a smart yeah. toilet yeah there's it's very smart <laughs> oh my there's a sensor right here so that when somebody gets in it it flushes and then uh it it's to? meant for people Go ahead, Lincoln, give it a shot. Let's see where this toilet goes to. Flush yourself down the toilet. <laughs> Look at this. It's pretty cozy, actually. It's pretty cozy. I'm on my throne. This is nice. <laughs> where does this go? All right. Give it a shot, buddy. Go down there and uh, come back and report. Before we show everybody what's inside of it, let's have Lincoln go inside of it. It's a little tight. Be safe down there. Wow, this is so cool. Bye, Lincoln. Bye. Lincoln just flushed himself down the toilet. Let's go find him on the bottom part of the toilet. <laughs> Is it, is it this way? Sure. I'm kind of confused. Where are you going? Okay, here's the drainage pipe. I see it right here. Oh, I made it. <laughs> he made it through the <laughs> toilet. What? That is so cool. I'm so glad you're back. I'm a little bigger than Lincoln, but I'm curious to know if I can flush down this. It just flushed. And so the sponsor of today's video, like we said earlier, is Cottonelle, and they make a flushable wipe. I wanted to test out these flushable wipes and figure out, do they really break down? Because supposedly they immediately break down after you flush them, where a regular baby wipe, it doesn't break down. So we've got a little science experiment that we're gonna do today. We have two jars here, and we're gonna put a flushable wipe in here, a baby wipe inside of here, and see what happens. Does it actually break down? 
This is a baby wipe right here. We're gonna set it right there next to it. Let's open up our Cottonelle flushable wipes. Oh, did you know, Lincoln, that many people use these instead of toilet paper? Really? Yeah. That's the reason why they need to be flushable. It smells nice. This is very scientific right now. We both have a wooden stick. I have the Cottonelle flushable wipe. Lincoln has a baby wipe that we just got. Let's put them in. Here we go. And then uh, let's stir it up. Let's see what happens here. I don't know what to expect here because it's just like a test. Like, does it actually break down or not? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Part of it broke Look at off. that. It's starting to break apart. Yeah. Yeah, so this one is still one giant piece where this one is starting to feel, it feels more like paper now. Like almost like if you put like. paper, maybe not toilet paper, because paper, toilet paper is so thin at the beginning, but it's starting to feel as if paper would be when you put it in like water. Oh, wow. Look how many different pieces there are now. Oh yeah. All right, I hope you've liked our little experiment with the Cottonelle flushable wipes. This is a very, very good science experiment. Right? They definitely work. They are breaking down. This is a really yeah. fun little science experiment before I go down and show you the depths of the world's largest toilet. But thank you to Cottonelle for sponsoring this video. Buy these things for yourself and give them a try and let me know what you think. Maybe don't give me too many details. Now, that now. Oh, let's see it. Okay. Boom. Don't put that in the toilet, people. Let me take you on a ride into the toilet and show you what it's like. I love it when it flushes. So the first thing is you have this little bench to sit on and then there's another one right here for you to stand on if you need to. And it's nice because then you can grab it and just kind of slide in to the toilet. Once you're in the first part of the toilet, it doesn't immediately turn into a slide. It is a slide, but not quite yet. You have these nice lights going through and it's just this nice, soft, smooth, plasticky floor. Hi. So once you're in there, you come around this corner and you have the actual slide that goes down to the bottom. Go down the toilet slide. Whee! Right now, I'm in the slide. As cool as it is, I will say, it's not the fastest for a giant human like myself. The smaller that your kids are, the faster they'll probably go down the toilet. I'm in the toilet. Look, you can see who's working on the plumbing. I'm in the toilet right now. Look. This is the first part of it. It's my dad. He's in the, he's in the toilet. Hey, there's his feet. Ah, I just got flushed. <laughs> I'm 100% flushable. Yes. Wait. No. <laughs> we get to do some pretty fun things on YouTube and uh, this is definitely up there on one of the most fun and random and unique things that we've done. This children's museum, while it is in a smaller town, it is in Columbus, Indiana, not Columbus, Ohio. Don't be confused. It is within an hour of Indianapolis, Louisville, and Cincinnati. Those are three pretty big cities. Just drop on in. Pretty cool to say that I've flushed myself down a toilet before. Thanks for being part and watching the crappiest video we've ever made. Pretty cozy, actually. A thank you to Cottonelle for sponsoring this video. Stop flushing baby wipes down the toilet. 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 Down the toilet. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Fireplace. Maybe? <laughs> I'm 100% flushable. Yes. Wait. Hello. I like to be able to shelf up.